We get an opportunity to talk a little bit of Western Washington University basketball with the head coach for the Vikings, that is Tony Dominguez. Coach, you guys just came off of a very successful trip up into a, up into Alaska. Very rare when teams go up there and get the sweep. What went well for you against the Alaska schools? Uh, well, it was very cold and we uh, stayed warm. <laughs> it was, uh, you know, they're very good teams. Both coaches are outstanding. Both programs are very good. We've had a tough time in Fairbanks over the years, as well as Anchorage, and so to get those wins, we were pretty excited. Um, felt like our guys were just mentally focused on getting the victories, not necessarily their own agendas, but playing together as a team and doing what, what was needed to win the game. Coach, 10 straight victories for this team. I guess we're expanding on that same type of question. What has worked for this group? But obviously you battled through some early season injuries and now it seems like everybody's kind of clicking together. But we still have those injuries that are kind of lingering. But yep, again, I think that they feel like they're getting hungrier and hungrier with each win. You know, we don't really talk about the past, so we're just talking about the future. And uh, we do reflect on the last couple of games. And I just think our guys are just tuned in to trying to do the right things. And so we, we've dialed down our practices as far as time. Our intensity is still high, but we're not going as long to try to keep them fresh for games. And I think that's helped. I just think their mental focus has been definitely the key. Talk to me about the play out of your point guard. Trey has been outstanding. He's garnered his second GNAC player of the week two weeks ago. What are you seeing in the development of his game in year number three? You know, Trey's outstanding as well. He's He can play all positions, and when he's mentally with us, um, which he's been all season or most of the year, um, he is. He just leads these guys. He just He's very appreciative of playing because of his injuries in the past, and he's playing with a, a fire and a passion that is needed. And, you know, when he puts it all together, he's a tough, tough player. Coach, where is this team at as far as what they still need to work on as the season continues and as you get ready here for the second half? Mental focus? <laughs> no. It, uh, just what we were talking about. I think for them, it's just a matter of continue to push themselves to get better and better. Um, you know, the, the caution is we did do well in the first half of the league. And so now we need to be ready for their best efforts coming back through because um, all these teams are very good. As we talked about at the beginning of the year, I don't really think, even though there's a couple of teams towards the bottom, those are talented teams. Um, and so we've got our challenge in front of us. And so for us to get better, we've just got to continue to work hard and not rest on the past and, and look forward. We talk about mental focus, and if there's ever a week for distractions, it would be this week. You got a TV game coming up on Root Sports on Saturday against a top rival in Seattle Pacific University. Oh, by the way, there just happens to be a pretty tough game on Thursday against St. Martin's. How do you keep everybody focused? We just worry about the next game, and I know maybe they look at different scenarios. And I even forgot it was a TV game until we talked today at practice, you and I. Um, you know, for us, St. Martin's is playing outstanding. They're right there, and they have a very tough team. So I think it's easy for us to stay focused on that game and that game only. And that's, that's all I've done with these guys is we just talk about what's in front of us. And I honestly, I don't even do the scout until the next day, until Friday on the next opponent. I just feel like we need to all be, you know, just focused in, we, we call it broad to narrow. We need to take go broad into the narrow of de defending and playing the, the team ahead of us. Once we get that game, then we move forward to sa Saturday, which is a, another rival game. It feels like every game's a rival these days. Um, you know, on TV, which will be you know a lot of excitement, a lot of you know intensity, and you know we'll be prepared for that. But we're just really looking at Thursday. All right, coach. Now I got to be the media guy. Uh, numbers are out for the week. 16 and 23 in the respective top 25 polls, number two in the West region. Do you talk about any of that at all I with don't. your troops? No, no I don't. Because none of that really matters. I mean, it's a, it'll matter when the regional ranking comes out. It matters where we're at in our league because we want to be first. We want to you know try to win the league and then try to win the tournament. Those things are important. The, the national rankings are, are fun but they don't really mean much until it's time for the, the regional rankings for the NCAA tournament. So I don't really address it and I don't really talk about it. I just talk about where we're at in the league and what we need to do in our next game. Coach, I got an opportunity to sit in and watch practice and I, I marvel at the fact that you have so many players that are on the active roster that could go out and play and you talk about that all the time. Then you've got all these young guys and red shirts that are out here playing. 
Talk to me about what these young guys mean to the program. A lot of guys that the, the average fan won't hear about or talk about this season, but what they supply to everybody else here on the team. Well, I mean, they're, they're, one, they're very talented, and so we're excited about our future. Um, two, they play a role where they are extremely tough to defend, so it pushes our guys in practice to be the best they can. And so it almost simulates, uh, you know, the opponents that we're playing as far as, I don't know, I don't want to, you know, say that they're as good as the teams we're playing, but they're pretty darn talented kids. So um, they're very, very important. You know, they play their roles well. They are adjusted to what we need. They work hard and they don't really give us much guff. And so to be honest, that's really important when you're trying to run a practice and have some management going on and get what you need to get done to win the, the, the game. And you don't have to deal with, you know, the peripheral, the attitude and different things. And these guys are just top notch kids. Final one, Coach. I won't ask you about coming up on Saturday. We'll look to Thursday. St. Martins, you've beat them once already. They have a very good record. They have a lot of talent. They're a young and, and improving team. What stands out when you look at them and what's going to come here on Thursday? You know, they spread you out, they move the ball well, and they shoot it very, very well. So we need to defend their shooters for sure. Um, and we need to just be you know, kind of the key. We need to be mentally focused on def you know, defending what they do best, and that's shoot um, and moving the ball. And then we do need to rebound, as that's been a, a huge force for us. Um, and then offensively, we need to take good shots and, and you know, attack mismatches. Coach, we wish you the best of luck this week. Appreciate it.